Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for um, for um, November. This is your November bonus. And sorry, I just messed up all the entire deck. So uh, we're going to try that again. But uh, Virgo, let's see what's going on for your November bonus reading. Uh, you start off with the star. We're doing a Celtic cross here. And so the star is great. Of course, the star can represent like hope, faith, and renewal. Um, you know, it can also represent having a North Star, having something uh, that you want to accomplish in your life and working towards it until you do. So I kind of feel that energy for some of you where it's like you really could be very focused on, um, you know, your manifesting. Uh, you could be very focused on accomplishing bigger and better things in your life here, Virgo. And, you know, I would definitely say that that is true. So uh, you have this star card. And the star, like I said, can represent having a North Star. I feel like you're starting to see something as possible as well because, you know, the thing is we have the, sorry, that didn't work. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune is right here and the Wheel of Fortune can represent a change in your fortunes, but, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is something you control. You know, the wheel is always spinning and, you know, the direction, most people don't control the direction, so the wheel is just spinning in whatever freaking direction, right? Because most people don't try to get it to spin in the right direction. But uh, again, when you have something like this, the star represents seeing that something is possible. She's pouring this water from the pool of universal consciousness onto the land right here. And it basically says what's possible for one person is possible for you. So I really feel you could be very focused on creating something in your life. Um, and, you know, it's something that you're seeing as possible. And it's probably going to change your fortunes with that wheel of fortune. Uh, with your crossing energy, you have the death card. Uh, the crossing energy can be what's crossing you, you know, what's hurting you or helping you. And I do kind of feel this is saying... You know, this could be like a little bit of uh, holding on to the way things used to be. And so, you know, I feel for a lot of you, it's like, I, I, I mean, I feel this is true for a lot of people as well, just in general, is that, you know, a lot of us, <laughs> just as people, could be really focusing on, you know, um, like old stories, right? The way things used to be and, you know, all this other stuff. And I really feel we need to just kind of like embrace the newness, you know? There's no other way to say it. So there might be certain things that you're nostalgic about or that you're thinking about, but at the same time, I feel there's like a lot more opportunity in front of you. And again, the good news is, is that in the area of your thoughts, you have the three of wands. Uh, so it looks to me as if you are kind of looking into the future. You know, three of wands is a card of foresight, seeing something before it happens or seeing something coming in, you know, as it's coming in. And so I feel like you kind of see something and it's kind of interesting as well that we go down to the wheel of fortune to the fool. So I definitely feel it's time for you to <clears throat> take a leap of faith on something that you see entering into your life because it'll probably change your fortunes with the um, with this wheel of fortune. The three of wands also kind of says to me, like, what are you waiting for? So if you know, I think you're thinking about a, an idea that will expand your life, and you know, three of wands basically says there will never be a perfect moment to do anything. You know, the perfect moment is now. So I would get moving. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups here. Again, Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty. Uh, so it can represent good things coming in after a difficult period of time. It's also the card of happy home, happy family. So of course, I feel there could be a lot of happiness coming in here. The other thing is, is that we go from here up to the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is kind of about leaving a comfort zone. Uh, you know, he has his village down here and he's got the whole world in, in his hands. But this wand in the back here, it kind of stands on its own. So the card basically says that, you know, something from your past is complete and it's time to get out into the world. It's time to have new experiences. And I kind of feel that's where this happiness is going to come from is by you having a new experience, not an old experience. Kind of like we said, where I was saying that, you know, I think we are in a time where people could be wishing that things were the way they used to be. But, um, you know, I, I don't think things are ever going to go back to uh, normal, right? <laughs> so, um, you know, as much as I hate to say this, we need to create a new normal. I hate when people say that. Trust me, I'm right there with you. But, you know, again, we have to uh, kind of, and it's not even about that, right? It's about creating the life we've always dreamed of. It's like if there was ever a time to really go for it and really try, uh, it would be right now. In the area of your past, you have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is being spoiled for choice. So, you know, I feel like you have a lot of options in your life right now. Uh, this is coming up in the past and it's kind of coming up in an area that represents the energy that you're moving past. But I kind of feel this is, I have this word like coming together, popping into my head. And I don't think this is a person. I think this is all the experiences that you've been having in your life up until this point. It's like everything is coming together. I feel like I've said this to you before. It's like you're connecting the dots. I'm pretty sure I said this in your November reading. It's almost, that's how I really see this. It's like you're, 
taking all the things that you've learned in life and you're applying it to something. And whatever this something is will change your life. You have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is coming up in the area of your very near future. So I kind of feel like you are changing your life. This is not, um, you know, this is not something that's going to magically happen, as I always say. You know, I think that the Wheel of Fortune requires us to take action. But I, I think the way to do this for you here, Virgo, is to connect the dots. Again, I feel like you're looking at all the experiences, all the things you've had, and this is allowing you to take control and of the Wheel of Fortune. Again, we want to control the Wheel of Fortune. We want to be at the center of the wheel there. When we live at the center of the wheel, we it's like we see good things and bad things as they are entering into our life. And the trick is to, you know, take care of the bad things or the challenges very, very quickly and don't let them turn into like big monsters, right? And also when we see good things happening, we need to double down at least on the good stuff. Like take advantage of that, right? It's like I really regret it because like lately I, I was like super lazy before I got COVID again. And now I have bronchitis and because of that. And, I'm, and luckily I'm getting a lot better. But, you know, still, it's like I was lazy for like a couple months before that. And if I wasn't lazy, normally when I'm not lazy, I'm really far ahead in my readings. Um, not too far ahead, but enough where if I get sick, it doesn't matter because I have readings, you know, or backed up that I can put up. So again, I don't like have to worry about it, right? Um, and so <coughs> what I mean by that is like there were plenty of days before I had COVID where I was feeling extra energetic, but I went and did other things instead. And so really for me, it's like better to, when I feel really good to like double down on the readings and do more on those days that I feel really good. It makes up for the days where I don't wanna do readings, right? And uh, you know, again, I kind of feel that here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like saying, you know, can you double down on the good days? And if you have a bad day, who cares, right? You, you If you double down for two days and you have a bad day, you're basically all, all set. You have the fool coming up in the area for the next few months. And what is interesting is in these bonus readings, I've noticed a lot of um, new beginning type energy, I would call it. So a lot of you could be having new beginnings or starting new beginnings, or you could be uh, focused on having a new beginning in some area of your life. Um, I also feel that, again, if you are if you are thinking about something, well, I'll show you here. I, I kind of feel you're over-prepared for this three of wands. So if you've been waiting for the perfect moment to do something, could be you know, pretty much anything. I feel it's time for you to take that leap of faith. And, you know, because again, the fool to me, he kind of represents over preparation sometimes. He has that tiny little sack on his back and it really says that he has everything he needs right here. It's like you have all the talents, gifts, skills, and abilities. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the strength card. Uh, I feel like you've been, you know, dealing with some things relationship-wise. Uh, love, business, relationships, personal relationships, you know, every kind. And I feel this is like strengthened you, literally. Uh, the strength card is about working on yourself. You know, she has her hands in that lion's mouth and the lion, its tail is between its legs. So, you know, it kind of represents the fact that she is getting her inner, you know, demons, her, you know, her inner critic, her inner voice. She is getting it to submit to her. She is in control of her inner voice. She's in control how she reacts to situations. You know, she controls that beast. And, you know, I really feel a lot of you maybe have been doing a lot of personal development work uh, to do that. Again, this card is kind of like my card of personal development or developing, you know, personal skills, things like that. Um, so that, again, so that you can better deal with people, for example, or, you know, whatever the case may be. But uh, that's kind of like what I feel like you're doing here with the strength card. Uh, next, you have the two of wands. The two of wands is about looking into the future. Um, again, just like the three of wands, this is coming up in the area of your future feelings. So again, I kind of do feel that you are in the very near future, really, that you really want to kind of like expand your wings. You know, I feel like you want to fly. <laughs> um you know, sometimes I think if we haven't accomplished something for a while and then we do accomplish something, you know, in any area of our life, we're like, oh, what what else is out there? What else can I do? And that's kind of like what I get here is more like something is motivating you to take advantage of the two of wands. And, you know, that's n very different than what I normally get. But I kind of feel you could be having experiences that are like kind of uh, encouraging you and you, but it's more, it's, that's not even the right word. Like, I feel like you feel very motivated to do this, <laughs> uh, which is very different. Uh, again, I feel like you feel very motivated to expand your horizons. Uh, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is a card of kind of digging into mysteries. So, you know, for a lot of you, I feel if something is mysterious, follow your curiosity with the Page of Swords. I feel like we're in a time of, of curiosity. And, you know, basically, if you're just curious about something, or if you want to learn about something or know about something, learn about it. It's just that simple. So uh, let's see what's going on here for you. Uh, with the Death card and the Star, you have the 
star. So definitely a lot of happiness coming in for you as well. Um, this is kind of like a wish come true. Uh, a couple of signs have had stuff about like really accomplishing like a goal, wish, or dream. You know, I, I think that, you know, everybody really has to put the work in right now. So it's not going to just magically happen, but I think that, you know, at least you're moving in the right direction. I also would say take plenty of time to rest, relax, recover. You know, the star is about taking care of yourself. It's a card of renewal. So if you need to renew yourself after some, going through something, if you've been through something, make sure to do that. Uh, with the um, <laughs> with the three of wands, you have the death card. You know, it's basically the universe just saying, I meant what I said right here. You know, death card twice, star twice. So uh, that's interesting. Um, but I feel for a lot of you that this could say that you're leaving something behind. You know, the interesting thing is, is that the death card, he is, there's normally this king right here. And so it, the card itself kind of says that even kings die. Like nothing, nothing is above transformation. Everything eventually goes through a transformation, right? And that could be death, like transforming from one thing into another or whatever. So I kind of feel that for you, it's kind of like saying it is, there is an, an inevitable change that is coming in here with the Wheel of Fortune. And uh, the good news is, is I think that you are the one that's causing it. It's like, you're not just letting it happen, you're doing it, which is different. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, work hard, play hard. Ten of Cups definitely says you probably need that like decompression time or you need to decompress in some way. And, you know, that's what I feel like the Two of Pentacles is saying. Uh, I'm also getting something about a settlement here as well. Sometimes uh, I look at the Two of Pentacles as a settlement card. To me, it can represent like a legal settlement, uh, insurance payout, um, you know, any of those things. So if you're like waiting for some sort of settlement, um, and, and that might only be for a few of you, uh, then I feel like there could be like a settlement co coming in here, obviously. Um, so uh, let's see <clears throat> what is going on for you. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away from things that no longer serve you. I think it's a great time to kind of weigh things up. Again, we just had that eclipse in Libra. Uh, and even if it's past the eclipse, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, eclipse energy sticks around for like six months. So, you know, I think we're in a great time to look like, you know, look at all your options with the Seven of Cups and then walk away from the things that are no longer serving you. Walk away from the things that do not give to you in some way right? And, or, or at least equally, if not better, right? <laughs> you know, I think we should be looking for at, at the very least equal, um, you know, give and take. And this goes for everything, love, business, spiritually, you know, everything. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the King of Wands. Yes, I'm telling you right now, uh, you have every single card of seeing the future. Uh, the King of Wands is a card of the visionary. You have the Three of Wands, card of foresight. Two of Wands, looking into the future, you know. The, uh, two of Wands is a card of progress. So, really, you know, this could be a fire sign coming in for some of you, but I really don't think this is a love reading. I think this is a uh, Virgo is seeing their future in front of them and they're moving towards it reading. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's it's the inevitable change, right? And, like I said a minute ago. And, um, you know, the beautiful thing is, is like I said, I really feel like you're embracing it with this type of energy. He just goes, you know, the King of Wands would just go for it. And again, he's the visionary. He is totally comfortable with new changes as well. It's like, we are in a time of great change. I, I mark my words, you will see more change over the next 20 years than you've ever seen in your entire life. Like way bigger changes, way crazier stuff, right? Uh, by the time we get to the end of the next 20 years. So <coughs> some people I think will be worried about it and will be screaming and yelling and, and crying that the you know sky is falling. And for others, I feel like you are, um, you know, you could, uh, you will be embracing it. So make sure you're one of the people that is embracing the changes and just kind of rolling with it. And again, I also feel like you're very much taking action with this energy. Uh, with the fool, you have you showing up here, the hermit. So it's like this whole thing here is again, like I said, you taking control of a change. Whenever you show up as yourself, um, like the hermit, it puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. So, um, you know, I love when people show up as their own major arcana. And like I said, I really feel you're taking control of that king of wands. Um, you know, I really see this type of energy as you happening to life, not just letting life happen to you, right? With the Wheel of Fortune, those are the two choices we have. We can just let the wheel spin and just, you know, do nothing about it, <laughs> or we can take control. And that's what it looks like you're doing. With the strength card, you have the moon here. Uh, you know, with the page of swords as well, I would definitely embrace mystery. Everybody gets this type of stuff um, right now, like, you know, moon, um, page of swords, high priestess, um, you know, any, any of those mystery type cards. So, you know, I feel in, in a lot of ways, we're just in a time of mystery where 
we don't know how to do things, we don't have all the answers, and we need to do it anyway. So it's like, if you have an inspiration or if you're excited to do something new, but then you have those moments where you're like, I'm not sure what to do, I don't know how to do this, do it anyway. Where there's will, there's a way. Figure out a way to do the things that might seem hard or difficult or challenging to do. Because uh, again, that's where all the, like, the success and growth and abundance is gonna come from. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the lovers. Definitely could be love coming in for some of you. I would say that it's probably a person who is very much in a similar energy as this. You know, someone who is in kind of like a visionary position. Uh, someone who could be very focused on the future. Um, you know, someone who has their stuff together, so to speak. And it definitely could be a fire sign. Uh, it could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, or Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you know, it could be any sign. It, it, this is a general reading. So, you know, take it how it resonates. But uh, definitely could be a very solid connection. The other thing I would say about this is that the Two of Wands, lovers traditionally was being at a crossroads. And again, I feel like you have a choice between the past and the future. Clearly, this reading is... Uh, definitely encouraging you to move towards the future. Um, you know, to, to move towards something bigger and better and e expansive and visionary. Uh, so this is such a expansive reading. <laughs> uh, with the Page of Swords, let's see, I can't get a card on the Page of Swords, apparently. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, no rushing at this time, but uh, at the same time, I feel like you're going to be building a lot of momentum. Can we double clarify that? Uh, let's see, you have the Queen of Cups, moves towards your heart. As long as you're moving towards your heart, you will not make the wrong decision. We only make the wrong decision when we try to justify our choices. <laughs> so no good decision has to be justified, plain and simple. Uh, making decisions is actually very easy. Again, if you are having a hard time making a decision, then you're justifying the decision, you shouldn't make it, right? Uh, so, you know, again, move towards your heart. And really, again, your heart knows what you want. And so, you know, I would move in those directions uh, with the Queen of Cups. Uh, we're gonna pull, we're actually, I'm gonna pull 10 themes for you because why not? I did the same thing for Scorpio, so <laughs> uh, why not? We're gonna just see what comes up. You have this horseshoe, it says good luck. So it does seem like a very lucky reading in general. You have this April card and this angel card. I always clarify these monthly cards. It says spiritual guidance, protection from harm. We have an eclipse next April as well. And also a Mercury retrograde next April as well at the same time, basically as the eclipse. Well, the, uh, you know, Mercury goes retrograde first and then we have the eclipse in April. But uh, could, that could be a very interesting time uh, to pay attention to. So, you know, just something to think about. Keep it in the back of your mind. Uh, you have this fair man card says damage relationships with a man with blonde gray or white hair could be any gender you have this key card that says successful outcome to your problem there could be a person that you know that has answers for you again i would say it's like a visionary person someone who you know sees the future doesn't have to be an intuitive that's not what i'm saying you know it could just be a person who has a good handle on things that are going on in the world whenever i get stuff like this i always say like if you have any problem at all see an expert it's funny because you have the king of swords at the bottom of this uh clarifying deck here the King of Swords is my card of going to an expert. Like if you have a medical problem, go to a doctor. If you have a legal problem, go to a lawyer and so on and so forth. And it just says that there's a person, this is giving me those vibes. Like it's saying there's a person who can solve whatever issues you have very quickly. Uh, you have this tent card, it says temporary situation. Some of you, I literally feel like some of you are like in between a move and I feel like you're gonna be moving on from that. And you have this flute, it says disappointment in a friend or a lover. Uh, this is your story over the past several months, really, um, you know, kind of like just based off your astrology, there could have been some disappointments in love or with a friend. And now you're moving past it is the good news. So actually, really, I feel like things are kind of going in a good direction for you, uh, not, not the wrong way. Uh, I'm gonna pull five also with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. You have this intuition card. So I feel for a lot of you, clearly trust your intuition. I feel like you are seeing things that could be very futuristic with the Three of Wands and the King of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of like, you know, maybe you're seeing the future in a lot of ways, you know? Um, and I would embrace those futuristic ideas. They're they're leading you towards something great. Uh, here you go, you have this inspiration card. <laughs> I tell everyone right now to follow their inspirations. You have a star twice, very inspiring. You know, it's like that big light in the sky, something you can aim at. So I would definitely move towards your inspirations at this time. Uh, you have this affair card. This is like actually a good card. It can represent like a positive love affair. So I definitely feel that there could be like a very solid love connection coming in for you with the affair card. Um, and yeah, I just see like positive love coming in. Uh, next, you have this inheritance card. <coughs> so the inheritance card could represent inheritance. It's funny that on the two of pentacles, I was getting something about like a payout or something like that. So I feel like some of you, this could be a payout. Uh, for others, this could be something that you are inheriting like an idea. And, you know, I would work with those things. I feel like some of you inherited an idea a long time ago. And um, now you're kind of like 
working with the idea of something, if that makes sense. And uh, finally, here you go. <laughs> you have this publicity card with a star twice. I would be trying to get as much attention as I possibly can. I, I say this basically to every single earth sign. I think we're in a time of attention. So anything you can do to get positive attention on the things that you're working on, it will just lead to growth, abundance, success, like all the good things, right? So I think we are in a time where we really need to um, you know, work towards attention. But this is a really good reading. I love where this is going for you here, um, Virgo. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.